Matusini takes pride in her culture. Dressing in traditional regalia has become her identity over the years. She was born in 1943 at Ross Mission named Tata. Growing up, Matusini used to hurt her father's livestock. As a form of entertainment while at the field, at the age of nine, Matusini and other boys who were hurting livestock started making indigenous instruments to entertain themselves. The instruments, made out of wood and wires, are what have become Matusini's sound over the years. I made this myself. I started a long time ago. We made these ourselves while herding livestock in the field. You don't get this ready-made. You have to chop the wood and bend it yourself like this, and it turns into uadi or umkhobe. Then you take a small stick and play a song. The elderly woman believes one needs skill and creativity to be able to produce good music with the instruments. You can play mkhobe from here. This one is for the mouth. I'm just showing you that mkhobe sounds good when you play using lips. It also plays here. The real thing that controls mkhobe is this one, the lips as well. You don't need to use your teeth, only lips. Let me show you. Like many other artists, Madusin experienced challenges very early in her music career. While her love for traditional music was at its peak, something struck. She fell pregnant at a young age. She was barred from playing umkhube and uadi, as these instruments could not be played by girls who gave birth out of wedlock. <laughs> A girl who gets pregnant out of wedlock and the elders see that she's pregnant, they give her a big herd scarf to put on her head. She's no longer a girl now. She can no longer play umkhube. But the music bug caught up with her later in life, years after being barred. Her talent was discovered in 1979 during the shooting of a movie called Makosa in Libode. The 79-year-old composes her music based on her life encounters. Fundiswa Mhlekude, SABC News, Mkankato, Libode.